It's time for The Brew. Jersey Joe here. I am a box over there live from Las Vegas with hot topics and gripping issues like, which is harder, parallel parking or driving a stick shift? You know what? It's for even the most seasoned drivers, both can be really tough. So the question is, which one's harder for you? Well, you guys had a lot to say about it on this one. We got a whole stack of answers. In fact, we got so many, some that are getting bounced to the bottom of the screen. So maybe your answer will be one of the lucky ones that got selected. I hope and pray you've been selected as well. There's Joel over there from Vegas. He's also a seasoned driver. I love to say he doesn't drive that much anymore. But Joel, which is harder for you? Parallel parking or driving a manual? Uh, I would say manual, stick shift. Uh, I was never good at that arcade game as a kid where you had to like Spear and you had to use both pedals and then change while you were trying to like keep up with people. Yeah, yeah just hated that shit. Parallel parking has always been really easy for me. I know it's not for a lot of people. I'm curious to see what some of the answers are, but that one's always been kind of easy compared to stick shift. I think parallel parking, it's harder depending on where you live. First off, I learned how to drive a stick shift on an 85 Ford pickup, driving my intoxicated grandfather home from the bar when I was a child. So that's number one. So I learned how to stick shift. But living in the mountains of Pennsylvania, having a stick shift is a pain in the ass because literally you're pulling out and trying to like grind gears and stuff, trying to get yourself up a hill. So can be tough. But once you figure it out, it's okay because I find parallel parking is actually a little harder because nine out of ten times you have a big car, nobody leaves you enough room, especially here in the city. I used to own a pickup truck and nobody ever leave me enough space. Like, not everybody has a compact car. And then also here in the city and you're trying to parallel park, nobody has patience. They're blowing the horn at you, flipping you off, shaking fingers because you got to you – know, it, it's not easy. So, But parallel parking in Pittsburgh, when I lived there, wasn't as hard as it is here. So it wasn't quite as chaotic. And I'm sure if you know you're parallel parking in, say, you know, Texarkana, well, then, you know, not as many people, so it's not going to be as hard. So I think it depends where you live. But my vote, if you're going on the survey board, parallel parking. Interesting. All right, let's see what some of these <laughs> have to say. Yeah, lots of comments on this one, and you guys have a wide host, by the way. <laughs> yes, wide variety of answers on this one. So let's go. Milsey says that's all we drive in the UK and parallel park in every street the way our roads are. Hey, remember Joel? When we were in the UK last year, and first off, it freaks me out when you drive on the other side of the road because there were a couple times we were going around those roundabouts and cars were like coming right at you, and I'm like, whoa, no, here they come! But you gotta like take a second to realize, oh wait, you're on the other side of the road. I think with the way their steering wheels are and parallel parking to left, I think would probably be a little easier. It was uh, it was interesting how smaller cars were too. Like every everything kind of fit a little bit better. But that's funny because uh, Joe who was really freaking out on those roundabouts. The people are driving with so much confidence in where they're going, though. We didn't really have to worry about it. It was like one of those things that was just kind of scary to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And you know America, too. We like our big cars. You're right. Oh, there definitely there's enough room to... Basically, you're driving a glorified micro-machine. You pop that little thing in there, and you're out, and you're good to go, you know? So, yeah. I, I like, like the, that better. Yeah, I like the little more cars more over there. It's more practical. Mm, it is. It is. And you get a lot more people parked in the streets, too. More of your comments, because Bombo Yankee says, Stick! Daddy Sports still can't drive stick, so I'm going to go with Parallel Park. I love impressing folks here in Orlando with my New York Parallel Parking skills. Rock for Guitar, can you Parallel Park lined up to a car behind the spot? Frustrated to have a double park car in the way? Now that's a trick only New York City-born drivers might know. My guy, Joel, people love the double park here. You know what? They're not even going to try to pull up Parallel Park and, like, screw it. Pop that thing in park, put the four ways on, get out, and go pick up your fast food from the restaurant or whatever. That's what happens here all the time. Time. Yeah, I'm well away. So you guys don't have that as much out there, though. You have enough space to parallel park. That's, not, that's not even really a thing most places. Uh, it's, it's more like compact streets. Lucy Booth comments, she says, parallel parking. Then strangers try to guide you when I never asked them to. Go away. That's the other thing that drives you nuts. We are trying to parallel park sometimes. Then you got this guy who thinks he's an expert to try to help guide you to parallel park. And it's like... Do I trust you? Do I not? Because now most new cars, too, have those little, like, rear-view cameras that pretty much park it for you. Right. That's actually kind of an important factor in this, too. Those those do make it a lot easier. I think those, mostly those dudes have good intentions, but if you bump into someone's bumper, are you going to, is that dude going to be like, oh, sorry, my bad. Here, let, me, uh, let, me, let me cover that. I don't think so. Or as people do here in the city, they'll bang your bumper anyhow. Like my truck, when I had it here, people used to back into it in a Target parking lot, parked in the street, and just drive away. Nobody cares. If you look at like most of the cars in the neighborhood here, I would never buy a new car living in the New York City area, the Jersey City area. Always buy used because it's not you. It's the other drivers that are pretty much just going to beat the shit out of it. It happens all the time. 
More of your right. comments right now. Missy says, having lived in Haley, San Francisco, driving stick shift was way harder than parking. Have you ever have you ever tried driving stick shift, Joel? Have you ever? Yeah, that's why I weighed into this answer. But <laughs> yeah, uh, stick, I can do it. I just hate it. It takes like full focus for me to do it, just to get the car down the street without like breaking anything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, definitely not a fan. My God, I would never want to drive one in San Francisco, though, on some of those streets. It was bad enough when I drove back home in the mountains of Pennsylvania to San Francisco, you know. Who forget yeah, it? For the people who don't know, San Francisco is like 100 miles an hour. Everything is small. The lanes are small. There's trolleys, bikes, people just running. And it's just like everybody's going every direction all the time. Very busy. Yeah, and if you want to see what it really looks like, just watch the opening credits of Full House. That'll pretty much give you it's all that scenic B-roll of San Francisco. Lauren says, wait, these are hard. Tom comments, both are a snap. Sue comments, stick shift. Final answer. Rock Guitar has another one. If this is a real question for you, I'd say stick to a bicycle. Bronx Bombers 46, I can parallel park easily, but cannot drive a stick to save my life. And Darren the intern says, as someone who does both very well, I gotta give the nod to the stick shift. Parallel parking can be tricky for some people. Not me. I learned to drive in an 88 Lincoln Town car that had to be 20 feet long. You can do more damage with the stick. You could wreck your tranny. Ooh, he got to learn on the 88 Lincoln Town car. I got the 78 Lincoln Town car. But when you would like bump somebody else's bumper in those cars, like it's not the plastic crap today. Like you could actually hit somebody's bumper and it wouldn't really hurt, a, but not cars today. Now, that's bringing in the need for that technology of looking where the bumper is. <laughs> that rear view camera is important. Boy, those things too, they really do help. They're, they're, they're kind of nice to have in a car. I wish, you know, all these years of driving, I had them. Now they're like modern right. and nice. And some of these cars even like beep when you're too close. So you really like can't screw this up. Well, speaking of screwing things up, let's go to the poll right now. Did you screw it up? Let's find out because which is harder? 69% of you said driving stick shifts. Oh, and 31% of you commented nice. parallel parking. So driving stick shift it is. And Richard Poole has a comment on the poll. He says there should be a third choice for neither one. Woo. Okay, so you're with it. Stick shift. I... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, most people got it right. Stick shift. And remember, when you are drinking alcohol and out drinking and driving at the bar, remember, don't drink and drive. You call an Uber and drive safely. Protect yourself and others. And for crying out loud, wear a mask, too, if bars are open in your neighborhood. But lots of fun always here in the Big Jersey Ethic YouTube channel. So click that like, subscribe button down below for all the fun we have here each and every week. Lots more bar talk. We look forward to seeing you all the time and hanging out and having some fun. So there we go. I think we accomplished something this episode. And uh, hmm, stick shift, tough to drive. We learned a little bit about some shit that's not even totally beneficial at all. But that's what bar talk is most of the time, isn't it? We're really not, like, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're just having fun. I guess, right? I don't know. I guess, I guess that's kind of true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of true, huh? <laughs> As he continues with a beer in his hand, Jersey Joe here, I on the Box, saying thanks for watching. Stay tuned now for your late local news, and we'll see you next time.